Good morning everybody, my name is Osa. We are playing Farming Sim 19 on Oakfield Farm Farming Agency Edition. And we are back to cutting the clover, which is straight. I need to jump out and get the uh, following this as well. Start that up. Turn it on, I will pick up and follow the channel. Yes. Alrighty. So there is not a lot of this field left to do, which is good. There's quite a bit of this field to do. We've already got about, I think, 70 bales on this one. So that's going to be fun and games. I think that was a bad turn. And a lot of weeds. Ay, ay, ay. But our yield is working out okay, looks about the same as it was last time. Huh. Really missed some. I don't know how that happened. It's a bad turn, I have a really narrow path there that we have to come back for. I could possibly nudge that over a bit, but uh, I'd prefer to be certain that we have extra on one side rather than extra on both sides. resulted in the bale of missing a bunch of stuff. He's keeping up okay. So we need to get this done. Probably going to be early morning when we uh, early afternoon when this is finished. So, uh, I said, I think our uh, what are we cooking? Um, the silage down at the BGA isn't going to be ready until after four o'clock. around the trees in waters by the looks of it. We'll do this bit as soon as we hit the island again. I'll change directions. Oh, 
course, once this is all done. Well, we've got all the wrapping to do. That's going to take its time. Maybe I should have started that and then finished all this off after. Because otherwise the, the wrapping job, it's, it's a boring job. It's going to take time. I'm not sure we're actually missing that much. And the only time that really is going to be an issue now is if I don't have full bales. If we're at 3,900 litres in the baler, I'm going to want to come back for those. Take the top out. In fact, I think the way I've done this now should just be able to run all the way around. Back when this was an arable field, obviously that section in there, that section of trees in the middle was kind of annoying. Because that does get in the way of the harvester, obviously. I think we probably need to wait for the baler to catch up there. Normally I'll use, I'll do a harvest on, on the worker. Islands of trees in the middle of the field doesn't work well with the workers. I'm not 
not sure how it's going to cope with that either. I think in general, while this is saving me having to come out to the field and row it, in general, rowing and bailing has its own deal, ends up with less missed product on the field. Whereas uh, this, we are leaving behind fair amount of unpicked up clover. I think the reason for that is because with a windrower I can drive over a bit again if the uh, if the baler missed it and re-row it and mowers don't do that. If I miss a bit, or if the baler misses a bit, then uh, the rower will, or the... I can't use the mowers to row it. Okay, let's wait for the uh, baler to, to do his baling thing. Don't want to get too far ahead. Otherwise, he'll lose the uh, he'll lose the path entirely. So that should be okay, I guess. Actually, one of the YouTube farmers I watch does kind of does it this way as well. Um, they'll do the rowing, but uh, the farmer doesn't like the uh, rake getting too far ahead of him because if the baler breaks, he doesn't want a load of um, road grass or that what they're making is hay. He doesn't want a load of road hay. And then it takes him a couple of days to fix the baler, and at that point he won't be able to, you know, if it rains, he has to go and tend the hay again. And uh, that's not such a good thing for him. So, by only allowing the uh, the windrower, the rake to get a certain distance ahead of him, he's always got something to row or bail, but it's not a problem if the baler breaks. And he's got old equipment, his baler breaks usually once a, a season. this corner
Keith, excellent. Welcome to the stream, thanks for the follow. I just completely overcooked that turn, oops. I hope I read that correct. Unfortunately, the words on my uh, monitor screen are a little bit small. I'm not sure why that notification didn't come up. Welcome. Um, you can see we are just finishing off our uh, clover cup, and I really, I, I'm quite surprised I didn't have as much as I thought I had left to do. Oh, no, 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 no! Get out of my way. For me, this is the only tractor I've got that can actually run this mower set. For some reason, there's a problem with the front mower and some tractor mods. That's not good. And so, because of that, Our other big tractor that could pull this stuff and just can't uh, can't work the front mower for some reason. I'm not actually sure why. Oops. Ah, that's what I did wrong. Okay. So that's the mowing done. What I need to do is look at how much we've got left in the baler. We need 3,000. Hopefully, but there's enough on the field that we can uh, finish this bale off and then call it done. of Farm Sim 19, you finish the bale you're doing no matter what you run over. So some points here I'm, I'm picking up grass. Uh, we missed a bit on the ground, there we go. 34 meters, great. Well, I'm not going to get any more out of that. it all up. So we can take all of this back up to the main yard now. I don't have any further use for it unless I decide to do a contract and right now I'm not so much inclined. That was something I didn't check. But we started. How's the sheep? Um, they're still having problems gaining fresh grass. And they need some hay later. Okay. My hawk, good morning. Welcome to Saturday. I think we will take these two up to the main yard and park them next to the um, hay sheep. Next to the power washer, or close to the power washer. 
so we can get them washed up and then put everything away. Probably use the JCB to put everything away. Did I leave the gate open? Question. No, oh, I didn't. No. cab drive up the lane just because there's so many overhanging trees I usually mess this up and end up hitting something or driving through the hedge or other such fun. So I guess we'll park these over here. is struggling. And we'll run over the toadstools. That's good enough. Let's go find the JCB. So yeah, I can't finish off the digestate spreading today because we're pretty much out of the stuff. However, what I can do is, uh, once we've finished wrapping, I'll take both the tanker and the JCB down to the BGA. So I can fill up the tanker when we've got the digestate created. And we can sell the grass silage which is currently just sitting there. I mean, it's not actually grass silage right now. <coughs> did we make today? Oh, that was another 64. Nice. So we've got about 130 bales to wrap. This is going to take some time. So, starting at midday. Now, I don't remember, in Farm Sim 17, there were a couple of uh, fast wrappers that were basically this sort of, I don't think it was, so there were round wrappers that basically you could roll up to a round bale and it would pick it up and wrap it in about five seconds. I speed up the, anim and anim the wrapping animation. I don't know if anyone did that for this one, for 19. But sometimes it's just... If that existed, I mean it's not kind of cheating, but I've now got about 130 bales to wrap. You can do two, maybe three a minute. That's a lot of minutes. In fact, I'm not even sure it's two or three a minute.
know, it's kind of like all the justifications for the little cheats that you can do. Things like setting, yeah, that was the nice thing about workers in uh, 17, was you could set the, uh, the slurry tank to refill from the BGA Digest 8 tank. And at that point I'd do something like park a field replacement um, or refill container on the side of the field and have a truck with a tanker in attendance and then just let the worker go to town and he's automatically pulling digestate out of the BGA tanks and you know, justification is well I've also got a worker running backwards and forwards frantically between the BGA refilling the uh, the field replenishment tank so I don't have to I can go and take care of some other thing on the farm Same with the bale auto loader trailers. You know, you, I do have a regular um, collection trailer, which is obviously more realistic. Though I don't think they see much use in the UK. But having a regular baler flat trailer with an auto load script just means you can drive around and pick the bales up really quickly. And yeah, you know, I've got a tractor with a bale spike, and I've got 130 bales to pick up. It's just quicker to uh, drive around the field with a semi truck and just nab them all really quickly. And I might do that at the end of this, rather than uh, use the bale collection trailer. Because the truck drives faster, there's no animation on the uh, the auto load script, and uh, it carries more. We'll see. Now we're back here. Start running rows at the end of this field and try and work our way back to the gate as we go. But sadly, when it comes to square bales, this is the only wrapper I am aware of that wraps clover. I wish the extractors did because. Uh, know for a fact I can I can like they they take no time to wrap because obviously you just stick a bale in and it'll wrap it it's just the speed that the time it takes you to stab a bale and maneuver it into the uh, the extractor load area 